slide into home plate with LTK. Love them nice channel coming at you with the best tech, Barracuda in Navy. Check this out. Whoa, isn't that beautiful? Where did you get the Navy one, LTK? Oh, let me tell you. Uh, where'd I get that beautiful look on the blade? Oof. Uh, I did this myself. A little RIT dye. You know, RIT, R-I-T, dye. In liquid form in the bottle. The little bottle. I'll show you in a bit. I'm going to dump in a video clip. This is going to be a hodgepodge hodgepodge warning uh but i did want to kind of give you an idea on how to dye these scales but i'm going to talk about the barracuda because i haven't done a review on the barracuda and i was going to do it in its original form and i'm going to show you the original form if i can ever get the damn picture out of here okay here's the original form it had 10 scales okay now it also, when I tore it apart, because you have to tear it apart if you're going to dye the scales, right? So you pull everything out, wipe it down. You probably should wash the G10 parts, soap and water, just to degrease them really good. So do that. I didn't. I just wiped them down with a towel really good. In any case, um, that's just because I'm a lazy POS. But here's the multi-row ceramic bearings. What happened? When I see Selena and her husband at the SHOT Show in January, January 19th, January of 2019, I'll be in town in Vegas the 21st through the, the evening of the 21st at least, and I'm leaving on the 25th, but I'll be there and uh, yeah, we're going to get together again and do some crazy uh, tabletop off-Broadway production. Something like that, because we're not going to act, they're not going to have a booth at the shot show. So I'll meet them at the cafe and we'll do some crazy stuff. But check this out. Okay, half a cup of red dye, quarter of a cup of white vinegar in a pan. Looks black, it's hot. Here's the scales from the Best Tech Barracuda. They are tan. They're going to be navy. Put them in here. Leave you a wire to be able to retrieve them. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, so now set my timer and... Uh, for about 10 minutes. Let's do it through the camera, huh? And start. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Okay, taking a break from my Hallmark, Christmas Hallmark movie. Oh my god. Ah, they're cooking. Getting there. Ooh, those ridges in there. It might be a little bit more difficult. We'll see. We got another two and a half minutes to go of that ten minutes. We might have to go longer than that. Okay, just got these out of the dye. These uh Best Tech Barracuda G10 multi-row bearings. Go figure on that, huh? But I pulled these out. I had them in navy dye. And they're rib scales, so they kind of give a little look of like linen micarta. And it's supposed to be navy. It's almost a, I don't know, a bluish, well, purplish. But it's it's streaked, which I like. I like that kind of that grainy look on that that's really cool let me know what you think but yeah i'm gonna put this together and show it to you I still get the wire holding on to it 
Okay. Maybe we had to put the sucker back together. This is the side I want right here. This is going to be the presentation side of the knife. <sighs> after a while, after a while, it'll all come together. And we've got a little D-shaped pivot so it won't spin. So I don't know. I got a guy that was taking apart a Best Tech knife and said, I can't. It's spinning. The pivot's spinning, but that's D-shaped. I don't know if they've changed that up recently. Um, wow. Okay. In any case, give me my, my no-name lube stuff, and I'll stick a little bit. Just a little smear here. And then... Um, and this little dog... Got to go in. Give me a little bit more. Just touch it here, here. And enough maybe to hold it in place. While I load it on the frame. Well, one of these days be good. Okay. So... <clears throat> Let's put a little bit of something or another here. Looks like they did have a little bit of Loctite in here at some point, which I'm not really too crazy about unless I'm putting it in there, doing it myself. Um, okay, so we got another spacer here. And of course, we got to put our back spacer on, which goes like that. Okay. Then, come on. Oh, did we knock our little stop pin right out of there? I'll put it right back in, damn it. Shall we? Okay, let's do that. Yeah, we might want to put one of these little screws in here just to kind of start getting it locked down. Just for the hell of it. Okay, now let's come from the back side. We get nothing over here. So it's fun to do this through the lens of a camera. All right, that was a long travel. Okay, so I think we're getting a little bit of lock down here. Let's get the pivot in here. And that's a number eight. They're still doing number sixes on the small screws. Multi-row bearings. I'm getting uppity. Well, it's already centered, so pretty close to whatever adjustments need to be done. Now let's come from the back side. Then I think we could tighten these scale screws down. Well, that one's good. That one's good enough. That'll work. That's fine. What do you think? I think that works for me. That's a good looking Bakaruda knife. Let me see where we are on here. Well, we're close. Yeah, we are real close. We're basically there, I think. Let me, I want to feel how, how we are. Yeah, we're up there. Yeah, I don't want to 
over tighten it that's for sure okay close enough for government work here we go and uh, trying to do it the lazy man's mr. mr. lazy lucky man here we go come on little by little there we go finally got her set in there let's get this one in there that's fine right there yep that's good it's always got to be difficult doesn't it I swear to god but yeah that now that is interesting i'm not sure this is my favorite best tech knife design but i like the way the scales turned out on this thing so if you don't like beige and you want blue make your own damn blue scales navy and what was interesting okay so you take about a quart and a half of water put it in a pan I, with a handle, preferably, you know, stainless steel so it doesn't, you know, the dye doesn't stain the pan. I use some kind of a, a black coated aluminum, I think, and it didn't stain that pan either. But uh, put a half a cup of the liquid writ dye in there and then put a quarter cup. And I didn't, I don't know if it makes a difference one way or the other, but I took, put a quarter cup of distilled white vinegar in there. Okay, so it supposedly it helps the dye penetrate the G10 uh, better. So, in any case, I did that, brought it up to about boiling. I don't know that you need to boil it, but I put it in there. I did catch it finally going to a boil, and I'd come back, and, and it was boiling at that time, a low boil. I don't think that makes much difference one way or the other. But, uh, you know, just for your information, multi-row bearings. Put this back together with a little no-name lube I got from, uh, oh, I'm about out of that. I got a couple more bottles, though, from Steve Kluver in Iowa. And uh, so, and, wow, uh, better than whatever was in there because this is now got some really great action on it. So, whew. It's schlick. When I first got the Barracuda, uh, you know, I got it because I visually I liked the look of it and I thought it was neat. And I'm pretty much up for grabbing every one of the G10 models that Best Tech puts out because they're, first of all, they're affordable. And second of all, they're interesting and they're usually really solid knives. So D2 blade, of course, and we've tested them before and they test fine as D2. Uh, this is a flipper, liner lock. There's your lock up, 25, 30%. Okay, you've got skeletonized liners in here for weight reduction. Pocket clip that's, you know, right hand tip up only. But it's a deep carry style. Easy to disengage this pass through here. See that? And it's got jimping on it. And then you've got some traction up here on top of the uh, liners and a jimped flipper tab, which is really cool. It's milled out up here. Very intuitive. Very easy. Uh, it, the, I don't think the detent's all that incredible. There it goes. <sighs> About a five. I'm going to say a five. Uh, but it's smooth. That's nice. That's good action. Like a stonewash blade there, obviously. Satin flats. How big is the knife? Let's find out. Well, depends on where you want to measure to. You want to go to the closest place on the bolster, three and a half. Down here at uh, three and three quarter, so 90 millimeters minimum. And depending on up to 95, wherever you want to measure back to. 
Uh, eight and a half overall. No, eight and a quarter and a sixteenth maybe. And then uh, 21 centimeters. So same size as the paramilitary. And if we could get Rex out here because we got a nice color differentiation between the two. Like that. What do you think? I like that color combination. In any case, so you're done, Rex. You like it? I think it's great. What do we got for blade stock? Let's try this. And 0 0.133, 3.4, 3.4. Oop, too fat for that one, so it must be over a 5.0. Five seven. Ooh. Okay, so it's got some meat on the bones. Fourteen point five millimeters. And how much does it weigh? Because that's important too. Sorry if I took up the whole front end of this video on the die job, but I, I'm just so stoked on this. I just think that's handsome. Now with gold liners, it'd be really beautiful, wouldn't it? Oh, hello, Aquila. <laughs> yeah, this was tan scales as well. And I dyed this in there, and when I came out, I thought it was going to be black. I thought, oh, crap. I just, you know, did no good on this. But you know what? Put the light to it. It's blue. And look at them gold liners. Is that handsome? Of course, <laughs> one of the viewers like, now you need to anodize that bronze. So so I got two for one because I kept, kept the solution there. So it's, ah, I'm going to pull another knife apart. Actually... My intention was to do this one. And then when this came out, I decided I'm going to do this one anyhow. So shut up and weigh it. 132 grams. And uh, 4.66 ounces. That's not bad. So yeah, uh, I didn't really intend to do this one. But this was the bigger success, I think. Of course, you've got a different pattern here. But look at this and so maybe they're not lying when they say when you put that vinegar in there it helps keep it from streaking or being uneven it gives you an even look at that I mean that was tan okay I'm going to do a review on this later and uh but look at that interesting I mean that's a nice even color on there I'm really stoked about that so these two Wow, you know how I like blue. Big blue and bearings, and even if it's not that big, that's still a handsome color. It's good, so I'm all proud of myself for actually doing something to mod a knife and actually have it come out. It's just wonderful when a plan comes together, especially for me. It's usually uh, not quite as successful as this. In any case, centered up, no lock rock, no blade play. Hey, I had it apart, put it back together. It was clean when I brought it, took it apart, as you can see here. So really nice. Yeah. In any case. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Will it be a knife? Oh, yeah. Forgot that part. Okay, yeah. Nice and sharp out of the box. So, yes, no fails on this one. You know, this is this front choil thing. Mm, this was the biggest problem I had with this whole knife here. It's like, why don't you cut this choil a little higher? Go a little deeper in here, and then you've got a little fatter area as you go up, right? And, oh, somebody was also asking... Let me see if I can zero this out. Was kind of asking fatness behind the blade. This might not be the best. It might be better to do it like this. Let me see if I can do this. If I can see around the camera, let me get down the blade a bit. No, we're going for we're going for uh, inches. Come on, back, 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 
here we go so i'd say right there 0.02 or even tighter there right that's uh that's pretty thin should make a good slicer looks like a flat grind but yeah this choil here this i wanted it to lump up a little higher if you go through then you don't really have much protection to keep your finger from sliding forward so that you know plus it kind of looks a little funky <laughs> give me a choil somewhere yeah this is a little bit you know this actually doesn't really give you much either um, as far as depth goes and I'm trying to see if I can find a knife and I don't like this when it curves back on itself kind of you know it doesn't stretch forward like this see nah I don't like that kind of hook back here but this is fine um, you know I just like it to be a little deeper here so I guess I beat that horse to death otherwise I think this ought to be a little slice and jockey and could it pierce? Of course it could. So nice traction up here, go forward position. Yeah, but this feels thin here. It feels a little scary because it just feels thin. It's not gonna cut you, but well, you're gonna you're gonna end up with this crease on your finger right here. See? I mean, cause it's real thin there and it's uncomfortable because of that um, especially for heavy cutting tasks so you got to stay back here really maybe you could move up like here and that'd be okay yeah so oh well screwing around with it but I'll tell you what I really like this here's for the tan right but and on the other side, of course, it's just Barracuda. Love this knife. I do now with the scales the way it is. I'm going to forgive everything else. It could be a total mess up. And now I'm going to love it because uh, I did the scales and they're so cool. <laughs> Don't you like that? That reviewer perspective. Actually, the, the, actually, the design flows on this knife. So nothing wrong there. It's just, yeah. I don't like this. If this thing was cut up here, can somebody grind me a choil up there? I'll send it to you. <laughs> grind me a choil. Otherwise, we're all good. Take care, my friends. Hey, don't forget my other midnight beauty, right? You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys, you stay sharp.